Hello everybody, as promised in my video on the Sterling, Sterling's approximation video, uh, I'm going to be doing a limit where we exploit the definite or the approximation of n factorial for large n. And so we have 4n choose 2n divided by 2n choose n, all raised to the 1 over n power, and we're looking at the limit as n gets big. So obviously we can express each um, binomial coefficient as some, you know, factorials that, and it'll be multiples of n and then a factorial. So it's pretty easy to, from there, substitute into Sterling's formula. However, I'd like to appreciate the symmetry of this problem. By symmetry, I mean that we have 2n choose n, and we have 4n choose 2n. In other words, we have the middle coefficient um, on an even row of Pascal's triangle. But I guess more than that is that you pretty much have, if you considered like f of n, to equal 2n choose n, then you're looking at f of 2n over f of n, is what I'm trying to get at. And so we can look at just an approximation for f of n, and then um, use use that. Because I, I'm, I know that I'm aware that 2n choose n has a concise little approximation, so it's basically sort of a little lemma, is showing the approximation for 2n choose n, and then applying it to this problem to easily knock it out. So 2n choose n is equal to 2n factorial divided by n factorial squared. And so we can use Sterling's approximation. And this is equal to square root of 4 pi n times 2n over e to the 2n divided by 2 pi n times n over e to the 2n. Uh, just after plugging in Sterling's approximation. So this is like the limiting form. Really, I should write a limit. But, uh, you know, I'm too lazy to do that. And uh, so we notice that these two fractions are both have a power of 2 the n, or 2n, and so we can just divide them, and we notice that most of their constant contents cancel out, except for 2 to the 2n, which is equal to 4 to the n. Then we have the square root of 4 is equal to 2, those cancel out, and um, we are left with on the bottom is square root of pi over n, or square root of pi n. And um, for our intents, we, since pi isn't really dependent on n, we can just disregard that pi, and we're left with 4 to the n divided by the square root of n. And that is what 2n choose n limits to. Now, so now we have our f of n, and we can plug that into here, um, f of 2n divided by f of n. So we get 4 to the 2n over 4 to the n, and here I'm just flipping the fractions um, so that we have corresponding terms. So this is sort of across here is uh, f of 2n and across here is f of n. Um, so these two, the 4 to the 2n and 4 to the n, we just get is 4 to the n. And then our square root of 2 here, again it doesn't really matter, we're dealing with constants. Um, 
and of course our square root of n's cancel out. So we're just left with 4 to the n, and we're that's what our inside expression is equal to. So 4 to the n, so that as we take 1 over n, the power of 1 over n, we get 4 to the n over n, which is equal to 4. So in short, anytime you see uh, a limit with a factorial in it, be, be it a combinatorial function or just any type of factorial, remember Sterling's formula. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.